guys welcome back to my channel my name is feeling me and if it's your first time coming across my channel you're welcome on this channel i share sewing and craft tutorial and if you're into that kind of content don't forget to subscribe to my channel give my video a thumbs up and also share with your friends as well so that we can get diy and crafting together so today's video i'm going to show you how to make this diy ankara hand fans I made two <laughs> and trust me these were not the first two I made I tried it was, it was a little try and error until I finally got how to make it so I'm gonna share that with you today how to make this really really handy um, hand fans like in my last video I was literally sweating my face off because it's really hot in South Africa right now in Johannesburg because I'm in Johannesburg and so I'm so glad now I have something very portable that I can just use to you know find myself <laughs> So this is really helpful and I'm going to show you how to make these in today's video. So if you want to see how to make it, keep on watching the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you find it helpful. And if you do make something similar, please share your creations with me on Instagram. I would love to also share you with others at um, Miss... I have forgotten my Instagram. <laughs> at films.secrets on instagram and i will also repost what she shares so let's get crafting together continue watching the video and i'll see you in my next one next week bye guys the materials needed are interfacing and i'm using the hard fusible interfacing normally used for colors you need the main fabric of your choice you also need a ruler popsicle stick scissors matching thread and hand sewing needle glue stick and the glue gun and finally yeah, an iron you also need two decorative buttons and a twine rope to cover the popsicle stick handles these are optional but I use them to beautify the handle of the fan and the fan itself a little bit apologies but I lost footage of when I was cutting the fabrics but not to worry it's really simple if you want more details on the dimensions and instructions do visit my blog for that the link will be in the description box below to begin cut out a rectangle on your interfacing which is about 44 inches long and 5 inches wide the main fabric should also be 44 inches long as well but you need to double the width of the interfacing for that and I made mine 11 inches wide. Once you're done cutting the fabrics, iron the interfacing on one end of the fabric. Next, fold over the fabric to cover the interfacing and press it down. And then you can cut off the excess fabric using the scissors. To seal the raw edges of the fabric together, I used a glue gun. Do not do glue close to the edge of the fabric. Trust me, I tried this the first time and it didn't work out. It will make it difficult to sew the pleats together when it's time to hand sew. Alternatively, you can choose not to cut off the excess fabric and then fold it in before sealing it with a glue gun. I will try this method next time. Also, do not forget to seal the edges of the fabric as well. So you need to seal it widthwise and lengthwise. Next, we will work on the handles. I do not feel like the popsicle sticks will be strong enough as singles. So I decided to double it using a glue gun to join um, two popsicle sticks together. To also make it long enough, I joined two doubled popsicle sticks together lengthwise. So in total, you will need eight popsicle sticks that are five inches long for one hand fan. Take the hot glue and attach the handles. Make sure that the tip of the end of the handle that will be on the fabric is perpendicular to the raw edge of the fabric. However, if you have folded your excess fabric in, you don't have to worry about this. Apply glue to the popsicle stick and place it on the edge of the fabric. Apply more glue to the popsicle stick and then fold it over onto the fabric. Then apply glue to the fabric and fold it over one more time. 
you need to do this for the other side of the fan as well after attaching the handle it's time to fold the pleats you basically create pleats by folding the fabric on itself back and forth and back and forth and so on until you're completely until you've comp completely pleated the fabric to the other end Here's a close-up of how to make the pleats. Pay close attention, it's quite easy when you get into the rhythm of things. To prevent your folds from coming undone while you sew the pleats together, use a hair tie to hold it in place. Alright now, we're going to sew the pleats together. So it creates a pivot in the middle so that you can open and close the fan easily. To do this, pass the needle and thread through the edge of the fabric uh, or rather through the edge of each fold to join them together like I'm showing you here. Start with one edge and when you're done do the same through the middle of the fold and then pass it again to the other side until you get to the end. Make sure that you pull tight but not too tight that you break the thread. It is important that the folds are tightly sewn together, otherwise the fan will be floppy because this pivot, the, the middle is very important to keep it steady. So you basically sew it three times, twice on the edge and one in the middle. Tie up the thread and cut. After this, you should have your fan looking good already. But to add a finishing touch, I decided to add this decorative button to the middle. Use the hot glue and stick the button to the middle of the fan close to the top edge so that it's not too close and to interrupt the opening of the fan. Finally, to finish the fan handles, I chose to use this twine rope to wrap the popsicle sticks. You can also use fabric as I did for the second fan or leave it plain. It's totally up to you what you want to do. So that's the end. We've completed the fabric hand fan. I really love this fan and I know it's going to come really handy this summer. I hope you found this video helpful and you will make a fan for yourself as well. If you do, please share with me on Instagram at thelooms.secrets. I will be happy to share it as well. Don't forget to like this video and share the video. Subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. Could be a feedback, a question, or you could suggest what you'd like to see next on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.